Hello, Mandobug here with the fourth and final week of our springtime basket. This week we're gonna be making our handle and attaching it to the basket, so let's go. This week is super simple. We're just making the handle for our basket. And to do that, you're gonna take color A and you're gonna chain six. You're gonna slip stitch to the first chain to form a circle. And then you're gonna single crochet in each stitch around until the handle is the desired length. So I made my handle 19 inches long. You may find that you want one longer or shorter depending on the purpose for your basket. And you can notice how with this handle, we're just working one single crochet in each stitch around, around and around and around without joining. So that's gonna give us more of a spiral effect. And there's no need to join at the beginning of the round because we're not changing colors. So we're not trying to avoid any sort of jogs and colors. We're just making a round basket handle. Because this is such a small circumference, it can be difficult to keep a nice tight tension as you're working. I find what works best is to kind of twist the piece each stitch and to really keep that yarn taut as I'm working. Once you've finished your handle, you can go ahead and sew it to your basket. Now I chose to sew my handle in flat one row below the last row of color A, and I just did a quick whip stitch for, to add the handle to the inside of the basket evenly across both sides of my basket. Now you may feel free to add the handles to the outside. Um, again, depending on how long or short you made your handle, this is fully customizable up to you. But that is it, you've completed your basket. All right, well that concludes the springtime basket cat. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did and I can't wait to see you for our next one coming this August.